vlogs today. I have not filmed on my computer in a while, but today I will be showing you guys my jersey and my shoe collection. Let's get right into it. First up, we have one. I, I, this is a decent shoe. I don't wear it a ton, but I have some green and black court visions. Kind of crease, even though I don't have crease protectors in them. They don't like uncrease. Um, this is a decent shoe. I'll wear it a little bit. They, they just look kind of clunky. They, they're an okay color, but yeah, they're kind of crease. I'll just wear them when I go out for dinner and stuff. So the next one on the list is one of my beater sneakers. I, I, I like it, I like the color of it, I wear it a lot. It's my Nike white and black courts, the mids. They're really cheap alternatives for like Air Force One, stuff like that, and dunks. I got this for like $60 at my local picks. I should have been thinking about the fact that I could have probably saved up for a better shoe. But I mean, it's a pretty cool shoe. It's a high top. It's a Nike leather shoe. And considering that you can get it for $60, $70 retail, it's a pretty good shoe. These ones, um, crease protectors fit pretty well on them. You can loose lace them. I like to loose lace a lot of my shoes to make jokes Yeah. That's, that's probably. That's one of my favorite shoes. I wear it a lot. It's the next shoe I have in this collection is one of my newer sneakers. I actually traded for it. It does not fit me. I'm trying to resell it because it has like a 130 resale price. It's a pair of um, Nike Trailblazer pomegranates. It's in decent condition. It could use a little cleaning, but I've never personally worn them. But the guy I got them from, I knew. He said he wore them a couple times, but I cleaned them up a little bit. I might throw them in the washer before. But yeah, they're loose lace. They're pretty, I think it's like, I looked it up on a couple websites. In size nine, it's like 110 retail, but it's selling for like 130, 180 on something. It's selling for like 130 on StockX, but like 180 on Flight Club. Wait, StockX has all those weeks. It's a pretty good shoe, so if any of y'all wanna just hook me up. I'm trying to sell it because it's two sizes too small on me. But yeah, I, I, I like it. It's a cool shoe. I like, I'm a blazer guy. I don't own a ton, but yeah. So now, my second to last shoe right here. As you can tell by the box, it's Converse. And I'm a guy, I like the Converse Pro DB Lowe's for basketball and newer Converse's. This is just a retro Chuck Taylor. I got this in Italy, like I had to, there's a big crease across the middle of the box because I had to fold it in my suitcase on the way home from Italy. Because in Italy, these things, no one ever wears Converse in Italy, it's like an American thing only really. But I got this for like 20 euros, brand new, from like the Italian store. It's crazy how cheap these. I've never worn them, I'm trying to sell them because I got it for a pretty good steal. I need y'all want these too. You know, if you look at my website in my description, you can probably email me and I can hook you up. Last, but certainly not least, probably my favorite shoe, the most expensive shoe in my collection. It's one of my newest shoes. I got it at Stadium Goods in Chicago. It's got a lot of wrapping paper. I've never worn them, actually. I just got them like a few years ago. Supreme Air Force Ones. I love these things. These things are like the coolest color. I took the all white laces out and put the red ones in, just because I personally like them more. I have these in place. So, Air Force Ones, I've never really been a huge Air Force One guy, because they're pretty clunky, I think. But, these ones, I think, if I don't want to be too basic, so I had to get a little bit of a nicer version. It's got the Supreme on the side, Supreme laces. It's a pretty cool shoe overall. It's actually, for the Supreme collabs, not as expensive as, a, as you would think it'd be. I mean, it's still a pretty expensive for the shoes. It's only like 170 at like sneaker stores in Chicago online and stuff. It's even cheaper on like StockX for like 145, 150 ish. But yeah, it's a pretty cool shoe. It's my back to school shoe. I got the, look the jerseys. I am a big jersey guy. I love my jerseys. Um, I get my jerseys personally. Headgear Classics in the Water Tower Place in Chicago. 
They always have great steals. They have great sales every time. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Buy one, get one half off. Buy one, you can get one free. They have great selection. It is a big store. You gotta support them all. But I got some heat. I gotta. This is my most recent purchase from there. The Kobe High School Lower Marion jersey. They have them in kid sizes, adult sizes. This is a kids XL right here. But this is a crazy jersey. I love this one. I like the color, powder blue. It's pretty cool. It's back in just high school days. But also most recent jersey is a football jersey. If y'all look at it, you're thinking it's probably an old school Broncos jersey. When I open this thing up, it's not a Broncos jersey. It's a Bobby Boucher jersey from the Waterboys. Now this is personal. I love this jersey. But the football jerseys run a bit big. So I had to take a size down so it's a kid's large. Just so it doesn't look ginormous on me. But the Bobby Boucher Bourbon Bowl jersey. It's a great movie. You gotta watch it to understand why I like this jersey. But yeah, that one I got for a dollar. It was like one of the deals I got there. It was really cool. Next one I got, I got it last year. It's a little bit small on me, but it's a great jersey. It's this was in the kids section where they redid the store. It's a Zion Spartanburg Day School. It's his high school jersey. This jersey I personally love. I'm, I'm not a huge Zion fan, but I think it's a cool jersey. Just because it was in one of the deals. It was like buy one, get one for half off, I think. But yeah, that is a good jersey right there. It's one of my favorites. My favorite is probably the Kobe jersey, but that's up there. It's like, one right here i did not get at heavy classics this one's just a fanatics jersey i live pretty much in a chicago suburb like an hour and a half away i'm east to chicago so it's not really a suburb south end isn't really a suburb but i'm really close to chicago so if i you can see by my hat i'm a bulls fan so i had to get the levine jersey this one was like 20 bucks on fanatics i had i got a gift card for my birthday from it and so you know how to cop one um but fanatics great jersey selection all sports basically they got team gear stuff like that i wear that jersey a lot it's not a really expensive or fancy jersey but it, it, it can match with a lot of things the last jersey here is one of my personal probably most worn favorite jerseys it's a mcdonald's all-american jersey which is the high school all-americans like the best players in the nation from high school playing it it's a Jordan All-American jersey. When I wore this in Chicago, I got at least like five compliments on the street just rocking this thing. It's a beautiful jersey. They make it for like all the players. They had a Kobe one. And inside of the Headgear Classic store, they have a bunch of jackets too. The jackets there are pretty cool. I didn't get one because they're kind of expensive. But the jackets are like the old school warm-up vintage jackets. They're really cool. I would recommend I would highly recommend going to. Yeah, so that's all my jerseys for today. Jerseys and shoes, just wanted to show y'all. You haven't seen one of my in room vlogs recently, so. Yeah, peace out. Subscribe to, who should I give a shout out to today? Subscribe to Jackson Humble.